This picture here is a picture of a semicircular canal and its ampulla. This ampulla is depicted right here. And the ampulla, with, with inside the ampulla of the semicircular canals lies the most important part of this. It's what drives our detection of dynamic movement. And that would be the capula. The capula is this gelatinous mass here that encases the hair cells, which are responsible for contacting the vestibular cochlear nerve and telling us that we're undertaking some kind of dynamic movement. Now, the only way that those hair cells contact the vestibular cochlear nerve and tell you that you're uh, undertaking some kind of dynamic movement is when the capula is actually bent from side to side. Uh, and the way that that happens is by making some kind of dynamic movement. When, when you make some kind of dynamic movement, there is a fluid inside of the semicircular canals that circulates through and pushes that capula from one side to the other, depending on what kind of dynamic movement you're making. So when that happens, the capula gets pushed to the side and say we're pushing it to the left here. And when that happens, it contacts the vestibular cochlear nerve and says, oh, you're doing such and such dynamic movement. Keep in mind that there's three different orientations of semicircular canals and they're on both sides of the head. So they're not just in the central portion of your skull. They're on, they're on both ears. And when you turn one way, the both of this of the semicircular canals are are contacted and they're moving this is how you detect dynamic movement now let's look at how to tie in the semicircular canals with the brain specifically the midbrain where you find the corpora quadrigemina the corpora quadrigemina are responsible for helping you track moving objects so when you're undertaking some kind of dynamic movement these uh, semicircular canals actually contact those corpora quadrigemina and tell the eye to move in such a direction so that you can keep track of the things that are moving while you are moving. Because since you're moving, it seems like everything around you is moving, but in reality, everything's staying in place. It's just you're moving. So your eyes are trying to keep track of those things that are not moving. Now, say you were at the top of a hill and you rolled down that hill and at the bottom, you get down to the bottom and you try to stand up and you're super dizzy and you're falling over. So this all has to do with these um, semicircular canals. These semicircular canals are picking up momentum as you're going down this hill and they're, and they're spinning the fluid inside of it. And so, uh, the kinetic energy is building up inside this fluid and it's causing uh, the fluid to continue to circulate even when you have stopped uh, rolling down that hill. So this fluid is continuing to circulate through and it's pushing that capula and it's telling your brain that you're still moving even though you're not. So it's, it's telling you that you're moving, it's causing you to be dizzy, and at the same time it's contacting those eyes and it's causing them to dart across your face. So the classic, oh, I just rolled down a hill and then you're looking up at the sky and the sky's spinning around your head. It's not really spinning around your head. What is spinning around your head is your eyes because the semicircular canals are contacting the corpora quadrigemina and telling your eyes to keep track of everything as you're moving. But you're not really moving, it's just the kinetic energy inside of the fluid in your semicircular canals is still there.